It was Christmas 2021 when I first thought about going to London for a holiday. I was sitting in my bedroom chatting to my friends when they were talking about going on holiday in 2022. They were thinking about going to Milan, Paris, or Rome. However, I wanted to go to an English speaking country, so I thought that I would revisit London. The last time I had gone to London was with my parents when I was 10 years old. Now I could travel on my own and do what I wanted to do. I decided to take my holiday in July 2022 when I hoped the weather in London would be sunny and warm. I booked my flights with Ryanair on their website. My flight was due to land at London Stansted Airport at 3pm and my return flight was four days later at 11am. My next task was to decide where to stay in London. The options were a hotel or a hostel in either central London or in the suburbs. Central hotels and hostels were more expensive but involved less transport costs, while suburban accommodation was slightly cheaper but involved travelling a long distance and higher transport costs. As I was travelling on a budget, I opted for a Premier Inn budget hotel just out of the centre. It was reasonably priced and I could either walk or catch the bus or the underground into central London. London Stansted Airport is 42 miles from the centre of London, so I decided to catch the special train that runs every 30 minutes and takes 50 minutes to get to Liverpool Street Station. From there, I could catch the underground to my hotel. On my arrival at the hotel, I was welcomed by the reception staff and directed to my room, which was on the fourth floor. It had everything I needed, a comfortable bed, a desk, chair, and a bathroom with a shower. I was very tired at the end of my first day, so I ate at the hotel restaurant and went to bed early. I was looking forward to the next day when I would be exploring London. The following morning, I had breakfast in the hotel and set off on foot and made my way to Harrods department store. I spent all morning there looking at all the different products. I couldn't believe that everything was so expensive. I didn't buy anything, but just having a look around the store was very enjoyable. After eating a sandwich for lunch in Hyde Park, I walked to Buckingham Palace to see the King's residence and the guards. From there, I went to the Houses of Parliament and I saw Big Ben. After walking over Westminster Bridge, I was able to take a trip on the London Eye, from which I could see most of London. I then caught the underground to the station near my hotel. I ate in a pizza restaurant in that area, which was nice but also very expensive because of the area, and then watched English TV in my hotel room. I slept very well that night because I had done so much the day before. I woke up early and after breakfast I took the underground to Trafalgar Square. I paid to go on a sightseeing bus and over the next few hours I saw most of the famous sights of London. Leicester Square, the shops in Oxford Street, St Paul's Cathedral, the Tower of London and Tower Bridge. In the evening, I went to see The Lion King at the theatre. It was amazing and I recommend going to see it. 
It was late when I returned to the hotel, so I went straight to sleep. On my third full day, I decided to go to the Harry Potter studios near Watford, which is north of London, by train. I had an excellent day there seeing all my favourite characters and film sets. If you like Harry Potter, you should definitely go and visit it. I bought a few souvenirs for my family because they are also Harry Potter fans. On my return to London, I chose to quickly have a snack in a KFC restaurant and went back to the hotel. The following morning, I checked out of the hotel at 4am as I had to go by underground to Liverpool Street Station. I got the train to Stansted Airport and checked in for my return flight home when I arrived. I slept most of the time on the flight. My four days in London had been an interesting and very enjoyable experience and I had made a lot of memories and had taken hundreds of photos. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.